All right, today we're gonna to go through how to download, install, and use the new Betaflight Lua scripts. And we're gonna talk about a pretty cool feature in the Lua script, and that's the integration with BTX tables. So stick around because this Lua script's a little different than the Lua scripts in the past, how to install it and use it, just a little bit different than it was before. So looking at the Lua script page, this is for anything that's OpenTX 2.3.4. So if we go to the OpenTX page here, you can see that OpenTX 2.3.4 has been out for almost a year now. So hopefully everybody is on 2.3.4 or earlier. You can see the latest version of OpenTX is 2.3.10, and we're all eagerly awaiting for 2.4 to come out for OpenTX. If you are interested in upgrading uh, your OpenTX, I would definitely recommend checking out Express LRS, they are hosting an OpenTX version right here. And that's mostly for you know integration into the Express LRS firmware for the flashing that I've shown some other videos about already. But what's really great about their hosting is this is a mashup of all the features. So it's OpenTX 2.3.10, it has all the support for Express LRS, it has all the support for Ghost, and it has all the support for uh, Crossfire Shot. So again, if you are looking to upgrade OpenTX, check that out. However, if you are on any version of OpenTX that's greater than 2.3.4, you don't necessarily need to upgrade to run the newest Betaflight Lua scripts. So of course, the first thing we need to do is go into the Lua script GitHub site here and go ahead and download this zip file. So we're gonna download the 1.5.0. We're gonna go ahead and just hit save on that. Once that's done downloading, we're gonna go ahead and click on it here. And then this will open the zip file and then we can see the objects folder here. So we're gonna to get to this here just in a second. The next thing we wanna do is turn on our radio into bootloader mode. So we're gonna hold in the two trim switches and press the power button. Once we have the firmware screen up, we're going to go ahead and plug it into our transmitter into USB. With the radio connected, you should see some drive letters now pop up and you can see here, now I have the Tranus G drive and I also have this F drive, which is my USB. So if I click on that, that's actually the USB card in the Tyrannus that I have. From here, we can kind of explore some of the folder structure. And you can see there's a Betaflight scripts and sounds folder in the USB file we downloaded. There's also on the USB drive, a Betaflight scripts and sounds folder here as well. So let's go into the Betaflight folder and you can see there's a VTX table uh, folder here. And we're gonna wanna go ahead and grab this and then put it into this Betaflight folder here. So what I recommend is doing what I did here. I created this underscore void folder and these were the old Lua scripts. So I'm gonna go and drag those into there that you know if I ever needed to get that stuff back, I could. And then we're gonna go drag this folder over here and then of course that copies it in from the zip file. You don't need to drag in this text file and I'll show you why in a little bit. So now let's bounce into the script file and the script folder over here as well, beta flight and then beta flight here as well. And you can see there's a whole bunch of scripts here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all that stuff and drag it into our void folder, which I created. You'd have to create that in your directory as well. Once that stuff is dragged under void, we're just gonna grab everything here and copy that all over. Okay, so this directory is done. Let's go back up one. Let's go under functions. Go under functions here as well. And you can see this directory for me is empty. I'm gonna go ahead and drag these over here. Go back up. Again, if you have a bunch of files under here, you might wanna put those under void. It does depend if you do have other things, uh, other little scripts running, then maybe you don't wanna do that. Going under telemetry here. I'm gonna go under telemetry over here. And you can see I do have an Express LRS script here, so I don't wanna take that out, but I do wanna grab and add this Betaflight Lua to that, so I'll add that. And then there are tools, same thing here. Now here, tools is basically the new kickoff screen in OpenTX 2.3.4, so these are all the different tools. Like you can see I have Crossfire, FR Sky stuff, some Gropner, we're gonna leave all that stuff there and we're just gonna go ahead and grab and drag this beta flight in here as an additional tool. So basically this is the launching platform and the scripts under the telemetry functions and beta flight folder are just supporting for this Lua script, which we're gonna kick off under the tools folder here. And we'll show this here just in a second under OpenTX. So going back up one, you can see we still have the sounds folder and then in English, you can see these are just different sounds 
Uh, you don't need to bring those in, but those are there if you wanted it, the radio to say D term or P term or whatnot. So those are included in the pack. From there, we are done. We are back up to the object folder. So we can go ahead and close the zip file. And now we have everything on the radio that we need. Okay, now back on our radio, what we're gonna do is go ahead and disconnect the USB plug. And then we're gonna roll this down to exit and hit enter on that. Welcome to OpenTX. Engines disarmed, acro mode, morning on. So you may be used to accessing the Lewis scripts by holding down the page button, and then that would go into your pages. And typically you'll have two pages. This would be your telemetry page. And then you would also have your Lewis script page. Now that we replace this, you can see it says use tools menu instead. So let's go ahead and clean this up so we don't have that, that message there anymore and we don't really need this displayed in pages here anymore. So to do that, we just click on the menu button one time and then we do a long press on the page button and that takes us to the display screen from there so that you can notice there on the upper right, it's page 12 of 12. We're going to go down to screen two where we might have this set as scripts. We're going to go set this to none and then just exit out of that one time. And then there we go. Now when we hold down the page button. We just have our telemetry page right here. And when you press page on a short press, it doesn't go anywhere else because there's only one page. So to access the Betaflight Lewis scripts now, we're going to go ahead and hold down the menu button long press. And you can see this is where we have this tools menu now that you're used to, probably used to already for your Crossfire configuration page. We can go down here to the bottom and we can see our Betaflight setup page. Click on that and then just hit enter on that and it should, for the first time, go ahead and build all the scripts in the back end. It's basically compiling it as it shows on the top here. So just give it a second. And then it will exit when it does that. So then you just go and click on here again. And then the first time it does it, if your receiver is on, it's going to go ahead and try to download the VTX tables into the configuration. Again, just give that a second and then it should do that. If you click on it here, then you should see if you have VTX tables set up on the quad, then you'll have all that information right here. We're going to come back to this and talk about this just in a second. So here is just the pages and it's really convenient because you can access the data in here both ways. You can browse down as soon as you go back in, you can see a PID 1, 2, 3, and 4. Or once you enter into any one of these sub menus, you can just page right through it. So for example, I'm going to hit enter here and enter into the VTX table. But if I hit page, that takes me to the PID 1 screen. So this screen here is the same thing. So you can see when I exit back out, I come right to PID 1. If I hit page again, now I'm in PID 2. So if I exit back out, you can see I'm in PID 2. So you can see kind of kind of browse down and get to each one specifically, or if you're in one, you can just go to the next. So you can see what options you have available here. You can see you can adjust your rates. Go to the next screen. I have advanced PID settings here, and we can scroll down through this one and see different things here. VBAT compensation, iTerm relax. Uh, integrated y'all, things of that nature, thresholds. So these are all things obviously we could also set in the configurator. Now we're into the filtering page one. We have min max for gyro cutoff filter type. Again, gyro one cutoff. You can see these uh, cutoffs are pretty low. This is a uh, Sicaria uh, camera drone that I have actually turned on right now. So that's why these filter settings are probably not what you're used to seeing. Page down through this a little bit more see all the different settings you have here. Again, hit the button again. You can see you have gyro low pass filters, RPM filter, how many harmonics are turned on. And we also have the D-term notch, the widths. You can set that to eight or the, or the Q, min max. So all the recent stuff is in there. You can also adjust your protocols for D-shot, synced, unsynced, and throttle percent for D-shot idle. Again, stick. For your RX, you can set these settings here for low, center, and high. This is your smoothing settings, and then your camera angle here if you'd like that as well. Finally, GPS, max number of satellites, descent distance, ground speed, arm without fix. These are all really handy if you have a GPS unit. Sanity checks on or off, min throttle, hover, max, and that rounds it off. Page one more time. 
or in the GPS PIDs. And finally, we go back up to VTX tables. So finally, I wanted to show you the integration with VTX tables. So as you can see right here, just for the power modes, for example, on the Betaflight screen, you can see right on here, we have three power modes, one, two, and three. That is 25, 100, and 400. And then of course, in the VTX table, since it downloaded this, I have 400, 100, or go the other direction, 25, 100, and 400. So you can see I have all these same settings. Whatever my defaults are set up on Betaflight's VTX tables on this screen, this is what you're gonna see represented on the screen here in the Lewis script. However, if we change things, this is where it really gets interesting. If we go ahead and say, all right, well, this VTX only has two power modes, and so we're gonna go ahead and hit save on that. Or maybe there's some other adjustments that we're making here as well. It doesn't really matter. Whatever tweaks or adjustments you're making here, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. This quad is connected. Now, to get those settings to show up in your Lewis script now, you just have to hold down on this setup screen here, and you may need to do this. I think it updates VTX tables once it comes in after the radio is rebooted, but I'm not exactly sure. Either way, you can force it by being in the VTX page. Just hold the enter button down right here. That takes you to this screen, and then you can go ahead and click VTX tables, and then you can see it initiates a download again. Once it's done downloading, then you can go back into VTX tables and you can see here, now I only have the 25 and 100. It doesn't have the 400 setting here anymore. So the integration with VTX tables is really something new with this. It's really nice. And uh, that's kind of what the whole point of VTX tables is, that all the VTXs aren't the same. So you need some custom settings here, mostly for the power modes a lot of times. and. Now that's uniform between Betaflight and the Lewis script. That was never like that before. The Lewis script was always screwed up. And Betaflight kind of was always messed up as well because power modes are different a lot of times on the VTXs. Okay, well that is it for how to download, install, and kind of operate the new Betaflight Lewis scripts. As always, special thanks to all the devs that have contributed. Honestly, thank you guys for all your efforts. We really appreciate it. If you found this content useful, please make sure to do hit the like button and of course subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks everybody and I hope this helped.